Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Sun Bunny bronzer today, and this is what the eye looks like when you're done. Um, what I've been using for eyeshadow lately is the Sun Bunny bronzer from Too Faced. And I really like how I've been putting it on and how it looks and everything. And it's just really nice for summer and a really shimmery look. Um, so if you're looking for something to go out at night, I'm going out to fireworks tonight, so I figured that was really a good pair. Sorry I'm playing with my hair. I hate when people do that. But I really hope that you enjoy this video and the tutorial. And I should be having better videos up soon. I'm getting a new laptop tomorrow. So hopefully um, editing will go a little bit better. Maybe video quality might even improve because the vi the webcam actually seems to be better quality than this camera. So we'll see how that goes. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And yeah, so let's get on to the tutorial right now. Okay, so to start off, you're going to want to have primed eyelids and curled eyelashes, which I've already done, and I've already applied my foundation. So what you're going to take first is the e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. Mine is in the color sultry satin. You can use pretty much any cream color base that's kind of um, champagne-y in color. And I just put one dab on either lid. Sometimes two. Let's do two. Okay. So like this. And then you need to work quick and take your ring finger and spread it out. This crease is very easily so you definitely need um, a primer underneath, either my hair's are Too Faced Shadow Insurance or Urban Tease Primer Potion or Hard Candies Primer. They both, they all work very well. Um, and then next you're going to take a flat paddle brush, one that looks like this, and I'm going to go in with this color right here from the Champagne and Caviar NYX um, Runway Collection. And this doesn't have a number, I tell you. But. And then you're just going to place this on the outer three-fourths of your lid. So just like so. And it nearly matches the e.l.f. color. Um, if you had a paint pot, that would work well too, but I don't have a paint pot in that shade. I'm pretty sure Benefit has a base that's very similar, but um, I don't know what it's called. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to want to go in with your French and Fabulous palette. Mine, mine looks like this. My mirror's cracked, so. And I'm going to take the Totally Toasted Beige color right up here and highlight my inner corner with this color. So what I do is I just dab it right in my inner corner. Sorry I keep looking over here. Here, maybe if I just see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I placed this in my inner corner and I'm also gonna use this as a brow bone highlight. So I'm just gonna bring it up here, dab it on, and bring it up here and dab it on. For the most part, you can use any lid colors you would like up until the very end. Any like neutral, more on the neutral side of colors, and not grays, because that won't work out well. After that, I'm going to go back to the um, Champagne and Caviar, and go in with this color right here. And I'm going to put this on top of the lighter color that I already used. So I'm going to place this more towards the middle of my eye. And blend it out into the outer corner. Oops. Oh, I put in the wrong one. That's okay. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And blend it out. So what you want is a more of a darky edge to this part. Kind of making more shadows into your crease and making it look a little bit more concave. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to do the bronzer part now. You're going to take your Sun Bunny bronzer, or really any bronzer you have, and I'm going to take the darker shade, which is this side right here, and I'm going to take, which brush do I want to use? 
I'm going to take my e.l.f. angled fluffy brush that looks like this. And just literally all you need to do is just a little swipe just like that. So you don't want much on your brush at all. And then you're going to go in. And what I do is I start in a V motion. And I just place the product in on both eyes so that I have equal amounts to start off with. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush, which just looks like this. And I'm going to blend this out. I like to use the bronzer because it makes, first of all, you're using a product in two different ways, which is kind of saving you money. And also I like the way the shimmer affects my eye. I feel like it gives me a very nice um, contoured look. After that, you're going to take the lighter side of the bronzer and go in the outer corner of your eye with the fluffy brush and just drag it out. Make sure you're blending as you go. I'm going to do the same on this side. Got a little on my eyebrows. That's gross. Okay, so once you have this, you're going to tight line your eyes, and I'm going to do that. Okay, so once you have your eyes tight lined and lined, I go back in with my paddle brush. This is a different one. And I take the darker side of the Sun Bunny bronzer again, and I just swipe this underneath my lower lash line, just to give it a little bit of color and bring it together. Bring the outer corner of the top and the bottom together. Sorry, the lighting keeps changing. It's kind of cloudy today. So, um, the light lighting keeps switching around. So, sorry about that. Okay, so once you have the bronzer base on the bottom. I go in with a mascara. I take a very neutral mascara because I feel like um, because of the golden it makes it look a lot better. I'm using the Laura Mercier mascara. Um, it's called Full Blown Volume in Black. So I'm going to use this. And just lightly go over my lashes. I don't want them too dramatic or clumpy, which is normally what I like. Okay, so once you have this, you're going to do your lips. I'll fix that in a second. But, um, you're going to go in with your lip color. And what I like to use for my lip color is the color Margarita from um, NYX, and it just looks like this. It's really strong, but what I do is I just dab it in the middle, and then I line my upper lip, well, my upper lip, yeah, with it. And then I line my lower lip with it. And I feel like it gives a very nice natural effect. And aside from that, um, I'm going to go fix up my eye and then come back to do blush. Alright, so now I'm back and I'm going to be using the Quickie blush from Urban Decay. It's a cream blush and it looks really intimidating in the pan. Hold on, I need to warm it up a little bit because it dries out really quickly. And on your finger actually, but um, it comes out really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny bit on my finger and put two dabs on my cheeks. And then I'm going to blend it out with my two fingers. When you do this, it just gives you a nice, subtle pink. Um, I like I like this blush a lot for winter because it gives you the same kind of cold look. Like your, um, I don't know. Like it's really cold out and you're chilly, but um, I really like how this looks together, and I hope you enjoyed watching this. So thanks for watching, and subscribe above and comment down below and give me some requests because I need some 
Um, I'm going to be getting a new laptop tomorrow, so I'm going to edit this on that. And then more videos should be coming because it has a really, a pretty good, decent webcam on it. So thanks for watching.